Hello, I am Professor Balazer, and I would like to explain to you that Japanese is pronounced in a different way than English is pronounced. English is pronounced with air from the lungs, while Japanese is pronounced by moving the larynx in the throat up and down, and no air from the lungs is used at all. The Japanese manner of pronunciation produces speech sounds that are different than English speech sounds, and it is impossible to duplicate Japanese pronunciation using English pronunciation habits. Let me give you a short example. I will pronounce a Japanese sentence, which means I always take a shower before going to bed using English pronunciation. Then I will repeat this sentence using Japanese pronunciation. Watashi wa itsumo nero mae ni showa o abimasu. And now, in Japanese, Watashi wa itsumo nero mae ni showa o abimasu. English pronunciation sounds dull compared to the brighter and sharper Japanese pronunciation. In order to speak and sound the same as Japanese people, the Japanese manner of pronunciation must be used. This takes some practice, but it isn't really very difficult. And once learned, it is actually easier and more pleasant to speak Japanese. Let me show you just what the difference between the Japanese and the English vowel pronunciation mechanism is with a short pronunciation exercise. First, raise your larynx to its high position in your throat and hold it there. Then pronounce O. Oh. Notice that your diaphragm popped up in your chest and pushed a little air through your throat. This is called pulmonic airstream pronunciation. Pulmonic refers to the lungs. Now, in order to understand how a Japanese vowel sound is made, Raise your larynx in your throat again. Then pronounce the first sound in the word under as you lower your larynx. Oh. As you pronounce the uh sound in the word under, notice that your diaphragm does not move in your chest, and that no air comes up from your lungs. This is called pharyngeal airstream pronunciation, or Japanese pronunciation. Pharyngeal refers to the pharynx, which is the anatomical name for the throat. The larynx moves up and down in the throat, like a piston in a cylinder. In English, the, mo the larynx moves to its high position and the lung pushes air through the vocal cords to pronounce vowel sounds. In English, vowel sounds may be long or they may be short. A, A, 
E O U R R A E O U It depends on the speaker. However, in Japanese, all vowels are short because they are only made as the larynx descends from its high position to its low position. Japanese vowels are pronounced as the larynx moves down. And since the distance the larynx can move is short, vowel sounds are short. Long sounds cannot be pronounced in Japanese. So-called long vowels are made up of two vowels pronounced one after the other. Japanese consonants are also powered by movements of the larynx. The larynx moves upward with the vocal cords shut tight this pushes air up through the throat and into restriction sites formed in the mouth by the teeth and tongue and lips. Japanese words and phrases that are listened to, copied, and repeated with English pronunciation will sound slow and flat to Japanese listeners and the speaker will be classified as a foreigner before he can complete his first spoken sentence. The Japanese manner of pronunciation must be learned before it is possible to duplicate Japanese language by repeating words and phrases that appear in Japanese language study programs. A full written explanation of Japanese pronunciation appears in my website, English Pronunciation for All. Stop this video in the next graphics frame in order to view my articles and information on how to learn to pronounce Japanese.